Hi, and welcome to Schematic Diagrams and Reality, Part 3. So prior to this, we've done some fairly simple circuits that were in series to one another. Let's get a bit busier with a parallel circuit. Four branches, four bulbs with some switches, a fuse this time, a master switch, an ammeter, voltmeter. Let's get going. Assuming you've watched the first couple of Schematic to Reality Diagrams videos, some of these are going to go a bit quicker, assuming you know how to put individual pieces together. And so some of it comes pre-assembled. So positive terminal of the battery goes to a switch and then out the other side. This time we're going to have to start working with individual branches because we're going to have options where the coulombs can travel in different directions. So we're going to do one that's color coded in orange right now. So I'm just bringing in that whole branch. And so we have to come from the other side of our switch to a switch, out the other side, we'll get to the voltmeter later, to a light bulb, and then down to this end. We have to work our way back to an ammeter. I'll insert a, a red wire right here. And then here's our ammeter. And we're gonna run that back to the positive or sorry, the negative terminal of our battery. And so far so good. We've got a partially functional circuit. So now we have to go to take care of our next branch over here, color coded in black. And so it has to branch out sometime after our switch and somewhere after our orange. So we're going to continue on from this location right here and we're going to head off to our black circuit. Black going to bulb to a switch, but this switch has to come back to this location where the orange is joined in with the red. So we'll throw a red wire in here and bring it back to this location where it's joined in. So that gets to be functional now. So we've done two of our branches here and here, coated in orange and in black. Our next one is going to branch out from the black and head off to our next circuit. So we've coated that with green and so off we go to our next circuit and here it comes. So in orange and a little bit of yellow we're going from this point here to a bulb uh, I'm missing my switch. And magically the switch has appeared. The wonder of video. And so we've come through yellow through switch or orange through switch to bulb. And on the other side of the bulb we got some brown wires that goes through a fuse. And then comes back through red to branch at this location here where black and red have come from the other side. One final branch to do, not as fancy on this one. We simply have a green wire and a red wire that are gonna to come to our main branch at the top and our red at the bottom. And so that's our whole circuit at the moment. Now, we have a voltmeter that we get to throw in here. Voltmeter is just for a quick visit to test the voltage on either side of this bulb. And so, insert that in here for the moment. And then, simply touch either side of it. Okay, so voltmeters in and out. Now, a couple final things. This whole long section of green wire right here that we've drawn out on a schematic, that length of green wire does not necessarily represent the actual length in a circuit. This entire length from this point of the branch after the switch all the way over to here, this can be condensed into a single piece of metal. So we're going to pull all of these out. And then all four of these are going to come and branch at the same location. Now it's about to get very crowded. 
but this is still going to work because this section is now represented by this tiny little bunching right here. And we could do that on the other side too. And so additional wires sometimes help you to organize your thinking, but certainly you can do it with less wire than that.